Lauren's studies at Mercer were nearly complete. She was only prepping to take the bar exam while living in an apartment right across from her college. But despite her keen mind, there was something Lauren was clueless about. Someone was watching her every move. Hey everybody, we got the daily vlog going on today. Bert challenged me for 10 days. I know why he challenged me. He's like, Tom's going to run out of things to do. So today, it's kind of spooky what I got going on behind me here is where um, Lauren, I pause this because traffic's coming by. Um, Lauren Giddens, uh, she lost her life here in number two, in the top left. Stephen McDaniel, her three year neighbor, both were in law school. And I'll show you behind me, Mercer University. They had just graduated uh, law school hadn't took the bar yet. For some reason, another Stephen McDaniel decided to take another person's life. He's now in jail. So come with me and I'll give you a little history. Maybe you already know the story. Uh, anyway, I was kind of waiting for the traffic. Thanks for watching my vlog today. Let's get started. Smart and beautiful. Law school student Lauren Giddings was only one test away from completing her dream. She was studying for the bar. Yeah, she was supposed to be studying like literally like 24 seven. She had told us, don't talk to me, I will be in the library. But no one in the law library has seen Lauren for days. Before long, campus friends grow frantic. The last time anyone heard from her was an email that she sent out and no one's heard from her since. Hey guys, I got an eerie, chilling tale to tell you today. This right here. June 2011, let me set the scene for you. Lauren Giddings was a Mercer Law student. She had just graduated, 24 years old, getting ready to take the bar, getting ready to move from the top left apartment, okay? And then the worst thing that could happen to her happened, the unthinkable. Her neighbor of three years, her neighbor of three years, Scott. Stephen. Stephen. McDaniel. Stephen McDaniel, okay. Then the unthinkable happened. Stephen McDaniels, her three year neighbor that lives right here on the corner, murdered her in her apartment. Now, this was all over Dateline and all over the news, okay? Let's take a look around. I've got a theory. Uh, I mean, he, he's he's in jail. He's not getting out. He's trying, of course, but he he won't. You can go online and actually see right before he killed her. He he, he stuck a video camera in her uh, apartment window from the outside, looking to see if she was there. Um, and that's what got him. But anyway, thanks for watching. Let's check it out. But Lauren's friends at the school were already looking for answers. One of them contacted police who came to the apartment. Seeing no signs of a break-in, they left. All right, so right across the uh, road is Mercer University, okay? And right along this sidewalk somewhere, I'm not exactly sure, when the cops were still looking for her, they did an interview with the guy the perpetrator and you can see him on camera saying well we don't know where she is we haven't seen her in a couple of days well then the uh the newscaster or the person doing the interview said well they they found some body parts did you know that and you ought to see his expression on his face do you know anybody that any enemies she might have had somebody that might want to hurt her no i ain't we're, we don't know where she is. Is now being asked for answers after cops make a shocking discovery. Are you okay, sir? I, I think I need to sit down. Okay. When they said that, you can go look at all that online. I'm gonna try to uh, tie that into my video, but I don't know if I can. And um, but he had to go sit down. And they so. You don't usually see the murderer on film doing an interview saying, yeah, we don't know where she's at. She's my neighbor. I've been friends with her three years. Then they mention the body and it's like his whole demeanor changed. So I don't know it. I don't know exactly. Um, 
which uh, apartment was his. I just know that hers was right there. And I, I know it because it says number two. So it's eerie being here, guys, knowing that um, that, that happened to her. And um, I would like to say what happened is that, that there's a caretaker here that used to be. And the perpetrator, what's his name again? Stephen McDaniel. Stephen McDaniel got the key and, and, and went and made a copy. So he was going into her house when she was not there because some of her panties was found in his apartment. And they also found the key. So he was go he had a key to her apartment. As you can see, there's there's some more back here. And like I said, I don't know which one he lived in. But uh you know, it doesn't matter. And there's the city of Macon over there. We're in Macon, Georgia, by the way. I'm gonna walk up there, but I can. But what put, what what evidence put him in jail? was he stuck a camera up to that window right there. And I was gonna go and do that too, but then I'm thinking somebody might be in there and I don't wanna disrespect nobody. Was this popular and talented student unknowingly becoming someone's prey? She's as nice as can be. I mean, very personable, very much a people person. Fellow graduate Stephen McDaniel tells our Macon affiliate, WGXA, he knew her well. He also attended Mercer and lived across the street from the law school. Stephen had reportedly asked her on a date. Lauren declined because she had been dating someone else. Later brought McDaniel in for questioning, where he confessed to her murder by strangling her. He said that he broke into her bedroom whilst wearing a mask, but Giddings had pulled the mask off her face and recognized and begged him to stop. He decided to murder her, dismember the body, and dispose of it in the dumpster. It was revealed that he had been stalking her and had filmed her in her home. In 2014, McDaniel was sentenced to life in prison and would not be eligible for parole until 2041. You gotta show everything. This is the uncut. You think people will, will, will find that interesting? I don't know what to find out. I don't want to find out. You gotta check us out. Hey, case thank you away. for watching. Bert, Tom Production, we're gonna keep doing it. And you keep watching. Click on the link above. Yeah, come on. Come on. Keep up. <laughs> <laughs> busy, busy. That's gonna be good. Thank <laughs> you.